Roblox Studio is the easiest application to animate in that I know of. It was really unfortunate for me to learn first, because now looking at literally any other program makes my brain melt. To be fair, it's not really that hard to make that happen, but get the Moon Animator plugin. It's better than the default. You can still kind of follow this video without it, but I think you really, 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 really shouldn't. To do this, you go to the search bar on Roblox and type Moon Animator in the Creator Marketplace. Then, sort by plugins. For some reason, this motherfucker charges money for the plugin now. Launch up Studio and go into whatever experience you want. Make a new one, I don't give a damn. Spawn your model with character inserted. You can type in the username of any player or just use a blank one. R6 rigs have less bones and are the classic character models from a long time ago. R15 has more bones. I prefer R15 because I have more freedom with movement, but R6 is kind of quirky and you can make good looking animations with them. Now that you have a rig, open Moon Animator. Click on your avatar with the window open and press New Moon to File. Now that you're in the window, I'm going to make this bitch breathe, look at the camera, and you can follow along. Here's the basics of animation. Move through the timeline with your scroll wheel. Hold it down to move side to side and scroll in and out to zoom in and out. Move the cursor by holding click on it and moving your mouse. Animation is done with keyframes on a timeline. To make limbs move, you click on the body part and press R to swap it between a moving and a rotate. To make the entire body move, move the lower torso. Every time you move a part, it's automatically keyframed where your cursor is. You can add a keyframe manually with the plus key and you can delete them with the delete key. At the beginning of the timeline, you want to move everything to how you want it to be at the start of your animation on your model. Then, after that, move your cursor just a little bit up the timeline. The closer it is to the first keyframes, the faster they'll be. The farther away it is, the slower they'll be. For example, see how slow this head goes when the keyframes are far apart? Closer equals faster. So now you can fuck around and actually make your character do things. The only way to improve is to just practice and familiarize yourself with the plugin. I'm a complete melon, and trying to force myself to watch a tutorial and absorb all the information just wasn't possible, and if you're the same, experimenting was the best way to learn. I'll show you some of the things I do to make stuff a lot easier. Copy and pasting keyframes is done by selecting the keyframes, and then pressing Shift C to copy, Shift V to paste. Do not confuse this with Control C and Control V. Make your timeline longer, go to File, File Settings. I'm pretty sure the timeline is in seconds, so set it to however many seconds you would like to go on. Or, I can speak. Easing makes your animations look like less ass. You can manually ease or use the easing settings. Manually easing is a little hard to explain, so here's an example. Observe this lady move her head. See how stiff it is? It just ain't natural. Make it not stiff by adding extra little keyframes at the end and only have her move slightly. This kind of creates the illusion that she is slowing her head down as she stops to look at you. To just add the easing setting, click on the keyframe you want to ease and press the 7 key or just double click on it. Your easing settings are going to be under fucking easing. Click the ease button if it's there. I don't really understand what easing exactly is. It's like math shit, parabolas, or whatever. I went to summer school for math on two separate occasions. I just know they changed how animations look so I turn it on sometimes. Each setting, sine, quad, cubic, they all be different. Each easing style, except linear, has directions which are in, out, in, out, and out, in. Fuck around with this and find what works for you. People way more experienced than me have said that varying your easing settings will make everything look better. For example, having one keyframe set to sine and the next to quad. I don't really see a difference, but that's probably because in terms of lack of attention span and intelligence, I give literal babies a run for their money. Cameras are important for cinematics and stuff. You can keyframe them and do everything you can with a normal and minimal part. Go to the camera tab, press add. C frame is actually controlling where the camera is looking and its position in space. Field of view timeline is for what else? Changing the FOV. You can do it over time or have it be static. It should be noted that you need to manually add keyframes to, to C frame and FOV by using the plus key. Generally, lower FOV is considered more cinematic. Note the difference between this and this. To change FOV, click on the keyframe and change the value. So now we have this admittedly mediocre animation and it looks half decent with cinematic camera work. It's really simple, if you can't make a walk cycle worth a shit like me, simply don't show the legs. God forbid you have the willpower to finish an animation you want other people to see. Could just capture the studio window as it is, call it there, but it's not very high quality, here's a better way. To do this you're going to need OBS, a fucking finished animation, and the ability to follow basic instructions. I know, it's a lot to ask for. In Roblox Studio, go to Test Tab. Then hit the button that says Device. The drop down to the left in the viewport 
find the desktop 1920 by 1080 resolution, or whatever resolution you want. Make sure the drop down to the right of that says physical size. Don't worry about the camera seeming off center in the viewport, it's not important. Next, open up OBS. You're going to want to make a new scene for this. So it's really fucking hard to record editing settings of my recording software, so a little theater of mind is required. Here's where I test your ability to follow basic instructions. Right click on sources, mouse over add, select game capture. Set mode to capture specific window, set that to studio. Size the window in OBS as needed, boom, you have a clean 1920 by 1080 view of your scene in studio. To hide the moon animator window, hit Control H. Press spacebar to play after you hit record and stop recording. It finishes, then throw it into whatever totally not pirated video editing software you have. That's all I got. Uh, like any other skill, animating takes a lot of, yeah, okay, whatever. Have fun, and now you can make F-tier shit posts like me. Okay, bye.